An interdependent perspective, symbolized by GNH, is holistic like a wheel. Holism means it embraces all, it addresses all dimensions of existence, and its relevance is timeless, recognizing the timeless quest for liberating happiness for all and the dawn of dramatic new relationships connecting everything. Our well-being and happiness come from five forms of fundamental wealth consisting of tangible and intangible elements and natural and man-made elements. These are capitals and human resources, ecological, economic, cultural and social capitals. But conventional valuation methods focus too much on economic capital and undervalue the rest. Such a biased method of measurement of wealth has led to poorer policy focus and reduced investments in cultural, ecological and social wealth. The level of wealth cannot be infinite in scope, nor can we allow ourselves to have an infinite aspiration for wealth. It must be determined by the capacity of the specific ecology of a place at an objective level and by what is deemed sufficient at an individual level. The balance between the economy and ecology is a key consideration in GNH. In essence, a GNH-oriented society promotes a successful life cycle of birth, living, aging and dying. Successful birth means achieving an almost zero infant and maternal mortality rate followed by a happy childhood that is inseparable from good parenting. Successful living means having a productive, fulfilling and enjoyable working life without sacrificing it for the sake of simply earning a living or saving for an old age pension. Successful aging means remaining vital in our senior years without succumbing to disabilities both physical and mental and without being confined to a hospice where life has little dignity. Finally, a successful death is about having good death that is neither traumatic nor wrenching in social, psychological and spiritual terms. At the most fundamental level, collective happiness and well-being depend on two things that we nurture, value and protect, the environment and relationships. The first fundamental aspect of well-being is positive relationships. The second crucial aspect is the environment without which relationships cannot be sustained. In this respect, the restoration of the quality and purity of air, light, noise, water and soil are necessary for our survival. Our well-being depends on intimate experience of the natural state of a luxuriant and pristine forest, uncontaminated soil and other habitats, natural silence, clean air and water, and the true colors of nature. So any GNH-oriented society must cultivate these two fundamental factors as absolute priorities. <laughs>